So it's once again time for yet another episode of the best Nova Launcher setups. Today is episode 12, and I've got three awesome new setups to showcase to you guys. And as always, each and every asset that you need will be linked down in the description below. But before we get onto the episode, sponsor time. Guys, if you enjoyed the old school strategy in RPG games of the 90s and 2000s as I did, then you'll love Vikings. The latest update has done wonders for it and has obviously placed the game in the top five charts. So Vikings is not only about clan battles. Nation vs nation combats are making this game truly outstanding. Interesting fact, the Vikings game recently reached 20 million players. That's over 10 times more than the total population of how many actual Vikings ever lived. So don't miss it and let's make Vikings reign again. Install the game right now using only my links down in the description below and get 200 gold and initial protection shield free for supporting my channel. Check it out now. So first up is Daniel's setup. This is a two page setup with a super clean, minimal vibe about it, but still lots of customization baked in with a suite of widgets being utilized throughout. So let's take a deeper dive into each of the elements. So starting with that wallpaper, this is one that has been sent through directly by Daniel. And what I really like about this one in particular is that it has a really nice color palette to it. So we have those two shades of green on both the top and the bottom. And then we have that little accent of sand in the middle there. It really is just a very visually pleasing wallpaper and it works well for this setup. Moving to the top there, we have what is actually two separate widgets. The one on the left is a network Wi-Fi and battery status indicator, which comes from the flat material widget pack for Zupa Widget Pro. And then over to the right of that is a time and notification ticker. And this one comes from the Europa widget pack for Zupa. That little notification icon can be set up for either your email or SMS notifications. But overall, I really like the look of both of these widgets together. They look clean and minimal. They provide a good level of information. And then if you wanted to take them a stage further, you could make each icon clickable and link into each of their respective settings toggles and so forth. Coming down to the bottom portion of this first page, and we firstly have five application icons, each of which are using the drops icon pack, which I absolutely love. And then under that, we have a day and date widget. And I'm not actually 100% sure which widget pack Daniel got this from, but it's a very Pixel 2-esque looking widget there. So I've just used the standalone another widget app to set this up and replicate what Daniel had going on. Beneath that, we have one lonely icon on its own, and this has been set up to launch us into a browser of choice. Moving on to the second page and starting up the top there, we have a really cool looking time, calendar, weather and voice search widget. And this one comes from the fave KWGT widget pack. And I think it looks really nice. Obviously, each widget can also be set up to launch into their respective applications as well. So there's also a good level of functionality available here. Below that is another row of five application icons. And then below that we have the month calendar widget, nice addition. And finally, we have that same browser of choice application icon included down the bottom as well. Aside from that though, a simple app draw, just what I like, but there's nothing else going on, just a minimal and clean design that is cohesive across the board. Following that is Nagesh's one page setup. I really like the simplicity of this setup whilst also being practical. So let's take a look at each of the apps and widgets utilized throughout. Once again, starting with that wallpaper, Nagesh has actually sent through a handful of different wallpapers to try out for this setup. And he's used the Musee application to blur each of them out. But the reason he sent all of them through is that just about any wallpaper works for this type of setup, particularly once it's been blurred out. I'll leave a link below to a folder where each of the wallpapers he sent through can be found just in case you're interested in experimenting with some different looks and feels. Moving up the top, we have a weather, time and date widget. This comes from the 420KWGT widget pack. And I really like the look of this one. It's clean, it includes lots of information, but more importantly, it fits really well within the setup. Coming down below that, we have four application icons. These are using icons from the Minimo icon pack, which I don't mind the look of. And then below that, we have our dock. Now, the dock has been set up using five application icons up the top, again, using icons from the Minimo icon pack. And then below that, the search bar has been removed and replaced with the music player widget that comes from the goo.io Zupa widget pack. I like this idea of including a widget that kind of looks like a search bar, but is in reality a different function altogether here. It is a music player. It's a different approach, but I really like it. Other than that, the app drawer has a sleek, semi-transparent black background behind it, which looks nice, but that's it for this setup, clean and functional. And that leads us to our final setup for today's episode, which comes from Tom. And this is one of those uber clean setups that screams minimalism. Yet you'll probably be surprised at just how much functionality has been baked in. 
Starting with that wallpaper, we have another very attractive sky and mountain wallpaper here, which I always have a soft spot for. And this backdrop was taken from the one to wall application, which I will of course have linked below. That wallpaper really does set the tone for the rest of the setup. It gives it that sort of wispy light and pastel vibe. So then moving up the top there, we have a time, day, date, and battery percentage widget. And this comes from the Parrot for Zupa widget pack. Really nice all-in-one widget there. And clicking on that opens up the clock application. Then coming below that, we have a weather widget, which looks really nice. This one is from the O'Shea for Zupa widget pack. And it's been set up to open up your weather application of choice. To the right of that widget, we have three folder icons, which have been set up using the Wicons icon pack. And you can obviously set these up to have as many or as little apps in each as you like, which means that instantly we have heaps of room for functionality within this minimal setup. Coming down to the bottom of the home screen, and we actually have an additional two folder icons. These are using icons from the Lions free icon pack this time. And again, lots of room for functionality here, but then the overall icon pack being used for both within these folders and the app drawer is the Flatro icon pack. He's also got some other useful gestures enabled throughout the setup to make things even more useful, such as double tapping the home button to launch the camera, swiping up with two fingers to launch Spotify, plus a couple of others as well. So lots and lots going on with this setup, yet as you can see, still really clean in its design. Aside from that, that is it for this episode. Don't forget to let me know which of the setups was your favorite and why down in the comments section below. But that is it from me. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will catch you later.